Hello, I'm Kevin Wilk from Champion Sports Medicine in Birmingham, Alabama. What we're going to discuss this afternoon is assessing and doing joint mobilizations to the posterior glenohumeral joint capsule. So the first thing to determine is when you're going to assess or examine posterior migration, you have to line up the humeral head with the glenoid fossa. The glenoid fossa is not completely vertical, but is at an angle in this direction. Especially when you assess the person lying down, if their shoulders are very forward, like some people have a very anteriorly directed or orientated shoulders, it would be even more in a lateral direction, opposed to somebody who lays flat, has good flexibility in pectoralis minor, as well as major, but mainly pec minor, then it'll be a little bit toward the vertical side. So assessing posterior translation, the key is bringing the arm up to 90 degrees of abduction, grabbing a hole of the humeral head, and what I do is I'm grabbing the golf ball and the golf tee, in other words, and I'm just horizontally ab and adducting the arm, so I find where the joint line is. I try to assess how much of the humeral head is over the glenoid. So if she has posterior laxity, her humeral head is going to sit in a more posteriorly orientated position in relationship to the center of the glenoid. So I find that center point. Relax it, Tillery. There you go. I raise her arm up. That's the center point. And now when I translate, I translate in a posterior lateral direction. Anterior posterior. And you can see with her shoulder, she has more posterior translation than anterior. There's her anterior, there's her posterior. Posterior and anterior. So now, you know, she has obviously adequate mobility and she actually has a little bit of hypermobility. What we're going to do now is just illustrate very carefully a posterior glide to the humeral head, stretching the posterior capsule. So now I'll bring her arm up to 90 degrees. We're in the plane of the scapula. And when I'm mobilizing posterior, I'm actually bringing the arm up higher than the plane of the scapula. I'm up in this position. So the posterior lateral direction I want to go in is as you see here. My elbow is straight. My distraction force is from my right hand. And I'm just translating her in a posterior lateral direction. If I go straight down, it's actually a hard end point. If I keep it lateral, the end point changes. Can you feel the difference with that? It, it stops. It actually makes it feel like your shoulder's stable. When we come up in this position, it doesn't feel very stable at all. So hopefully by orientating the humeral head in relationship to the glenoid, so you're basically perpendicular to the treatment plane or the glenoid fossa, by translating it in that direction, you'll get a better assessment of what the posterior capsule actually is, and your mobilization techniques will be a little bit more on, on target and stretch the posterior band.